Welcome to the Life of Hair. In this week's episode, we have got a cracking technique. We have got a backcomb balayage technique, utilizing high and low sections to create a beautifully blended technique. Now, one of the times where I most use balayage techniques that are backcombed is when the hair is very, very straight. If the hair's extremely straight, it's important to get that ultimate blend because the hair is not going to be worn wavy as most balayages are. So the times where I don't use these techniques though is if I'm wanting strong definition which is I've got in an upcoming video where it just use freehand painting techniques. Now one thing I will say is you can't really call it a balayage if you're not balayaging. So the hot word of the moment, or the one that I'm seeing on Instagram for these backcombing techniques is chatouche. I think chatouche means to tease in French, like balayage means to sweep in French. And I think this particular technique is one of those techniques where if you haven't got time for blended toners afterwards or you have or you want to just apply one toner and you're a little bit pushed for time at the back end of the service this is the technique to go to because you can get fantastic beautifully blended results with very little second process i hope you enjoy the rest of the video and if you do share it with your friends subscribe to the channel and leave me a comment Give me your hair dilemmas, give me your techniques, problems, and give me some ideas for videos in the future. I've been James Atkinson, this is The Life of Hair, and I'm very, very much looking forward to bringing you another video next week. So the pre-section for this technique is incredibly simple. Just separate the hair into four quadrants like a tint. Take a diagonal section in the nape area to start and paint three quarters of the way up the head once you have backcombed your section. Take one centimeter sections as you work your way up the head, keeping a 45 degree diagonal. Try not to use excessive backcombing. I paint the foil so that I get even saturation of the product through the hair. This is incredibly important to get maximum lift on the hair. So many times in the past I've done this type of technique, I've washed it off and I have patchy results on the underside of my section. I make sure I alternate my sections by painting the first section three quarters of the way up the head, the second section halfway up the hair, I alternate this pattern throughout the technique. Try and do your back combing in one long consistent stroke. This is very, very important for when you remove the back combing later to reduce client discomfort Saturation is king here on all of these type of techniques. I like to call them full saturation techniques rather than a balayage per se. As I mentioned in the intro, some people are calling them chatouche. But the beauty of a technique like this is that you can get more lift than you could with an air processing technique like a balayage because we have the foil that is incubating the color, preventing it from drying out and giving us maximum lifting. This technique is incredibly simple in its conception, but there are a few things that you need to make sure that you do. First things first is that you paint the foil before that you apply it to the head. 
This is giving you great saturation on the underneath of your section before you start. You need to make sure that you use long, consistent backcombing strokes to prevent it being tangly when removing it later. And you need to remember to work high and low throughout the technique. The first section's high, three quarters of the way up the head, and the second section's low, halfway up the head. Working like this will ensure maximum blending later. I apply the product, the bleach to the hair. I apply the bleach to the hair using a horizontal brush stroke. And I simply use vertical brush strokes to tease out the highest point on the foil. This is just to ensure maximum blending. The same rules apply to the sides. We are simply using a 45 degree angle. In this instance, a diagonal backwards angle to create extra softness at the roots. The first section is going all the way up to virtually the roots, three quarters of the way up the head. And the second section will simply go halfway. As I mentioned in the intro, this is optimum for when the hair is going to be worn straight. Then we can use different techniques, but if the hair is very straight and it's going to be worn that way then I highly highly recommend that you go in with a back comb technique. It will always take longer than a freehand technique but those benefits come later when you do not have to do any blending of your toner to create beautifully seamless balayage effects. We're right onto our top section now, and in the top section, make sure you elevate the hair straight up from the head to back comb it, and this will give you the maximum amount of blend. And then we simply repeat this technique on the opposite side, following those basic principles, starting with our first section going three quarters of the way up the head, one centimeter sections, using long consistent brush strokes when we're teasing the hair and fully saturating the hair as much as humanly possible and creating even saturation throughout. Such a simple technique, a commercial winner in my book, and a technique that I can get done in an hour very, very easily, with absolutely beautiful results, as you see right here. Seamlessly blended ombre slash balayage technique that can be worn straight, wavy, curly, you name it. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will be bringing you loads and loads more. Please subscribe, give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. I'll see you next week.